It's the day after Christmas, and instead of going out on the trail with the Jeep, Ash and I decided to take a day trip, which turned into an overnight trip to two of our favorite Colorado mountain towns, Ure and Telluride. The goal of this trip is to simply enjoy each other's company and show you some of our favorite restaurants, bars, and views these areas have to offer. Our day started with grabbing some Dunkin'. Being from the East Coast, we found that we definitely took Dunkin' for granted in the past. We used to be able to drive 10 minutes in any direction and find a Dunkin'. On Colorado's western slope, we have to drive at least an hour before we end up at this Dunkin' in particular. After Dunkin', still heading towards Telluride, we took a short hike along the frozen San Miguel River and stopped to have some fun in an empty park. We arrived in Telluride around 12.30, just in time for lunch, and decided to try a place new to us, the Corner House Grill. This small restaurant is very unique. It's a historic townhouse dating back as early as the 1880s, and somewhere along the way, it was converted into the restaurant it is today. The Corner House Grill is located one block away from Telluride's main road, West Colorado Ave, making it somewhat hidden from the tourists in the area, something I'm sure the locals aren't too upset about. So we just got to Telluride. We just stopped at the Corner House Grill for some wings and some fries. And my favorite place about these places is that they make their own sauces. You can take as much as you want. And uh, this place is pretty cool. It's just like an old historical house. I'm excited for some wings. Regular ranch, bacon ranch, fry sauce, and then burger sauce. Wow. And I have no idea what burger sauce and fry sauce mean. <laughs> what it means. So we're gonna find out, but <laughs> yeah. these, this looks awesome. Yeah, these look great. Wings and fries. So I know a good wing when I see it. These are definitely gonna be good wings, and these fries look amazing as well. So looking forward to them. Eat one. Okay. <laughs> A lot of sauce at the bottom too, that's awesome. Bad bite. <laughs> yeah, that's what I needed. That's good. <laughs> Definitely a, a wing day rather than a burger, I guess. It's always a wing day for you. It is. <laughs> Very good. I would uh, definitely recommend. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try ranch first. Ranch tastes like Chili's Ranch. Yep. Which is always a good sign. And then, ranch bacon. Ranch with bacon. Right. <laughs> which isn't a bad thing. No. And then, try to figure out what this is. This is the burger sauce. I think it's just ketchup in Thousand Island. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. And then, fry sauce. Ketchup, mayonnaise, ranch, maybe some mustard. Yeah, is it good? Yeah, very good, a little spicy actually. Yeah, so these fries are really good. And here's that bacon ranch and it's like not a hint of bacon. It's, it's a lot of bacon. Like, <laughs> it tastes like bacon, It's that's pretty cool. didn't see after the clip of Ron spinning on the playground. <laughs> is that we had to stop at a gas station for Pepto-Bismol and water because he was feeling pretty <laughs> nauseous. <laughs> He's doing better now, but I was working there for a little while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a little, not the best uh, idea. No, I know I can't do any of those spinny rides anymore, but he was all for it at the time. Yeah. It right also afterwards. also had to do with the Dunkin' food and the yeah. mocha coffee. <laughs> Worth it. Yes, but definitely. Not the spinning part. 
All right, let's go. that you see. That kind of <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one takes you up over the side of the mountain to a mountain boat, which is new side. Yeah. And the best part. It's free. <laughs> <laughs> How concerned oh, yeah. you should be <laughs> on how much they know uh, what they're doing. <laughs> Pretty sweet. That's awesome. <laughs> so this is Mountain Village. We basically took the gondola from Telluride. We went up to the top of the mountain and we came back down to this town, that, which is town called Mountain Village, which is just as basically a ski resort. And it is so cool here. Like we're not even skiing or snowboarding today. There's a lot of bars, restaurants. Uh, you can go ice skating, snowboarding, skiing, obviously, but it's pretty cool here. side of the gondola and we wanted to film a lot more but it's eight people per gondola <laughs> yes. which doesn't leave too much elbow room and no you know privacy to film for you guys so we're back down in the downtown and we're gonna head back to the car and try to go see the bridal falls So we got back down to the car and I wanted to make it to this spot before it got dark. It's getting dark right now, but it's kind of the perfect lighting. We wanted to show you guys this area real quick. It's just an amazing area. You drive down on the main road on Telluride, you drive all the way down and you get to this area and it's, it's like the end of the road. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's right before the trail for Bridal Falls. It's super nice.
one time that we've been to that bar. It's always really cool. They have pool in the back and a few other games. And then um, they just have really cool decorations. They had like a second floor that has a poker table. Down below, they have a bunch of like cool seating, like the sofas that we were sitting on. And they also have um, a, like a fireplace, like a real fireplace they actually have going. And now we're heading out. You're gonna go home. But we <laughs> <laughs> decided to book a hotel in Yuri and stay yeah. there instead. Not bad. Yeah, so, and it's at a hot springs. Yeah. So we're gonna see if we can maybe uh, take get there in of time. <laughs> in Ure at Twin Peaks Lodge in Hot Springs. We've got our room keys. We're gonna go check that out. See if maybe we can get some last minute bathing suits or swimming things. <laughs> and uh, maybe find some food. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. Oh my God, that's so cool. We're gonna have to go there. We gotta find something. That natural hot spring right there. Yeah. All right, let's find you some apparel. <laughs> So we're getting ready to go to the hot springs. We just had a very nice dinner. Uh, well, dinner. We had some appetizers, just some fried pickles. But now we're getting ready to go to the hot springs. And I just want to say we really tried to find <laughs> bathing suits. We went, well, we went to one store, <laughs> oh, fam Family Dollar. Um, yeah, they, they don't sell bathing suits <laughs> in our sizes. So here's our bathing suits. Please don't judge. Here's Ashley's. This. <laughs> <laughs> shorts that don't fit these are all by the way these are all clothes that i actually had them in her trunk because i was donating them because they them. don't fit us <laughs> yeah and then she just happened to have these very nice bathing suit bottoms <laughs> so thank thankfully i have my knife and we're gonna get to work and we're gonna get to the hot springs <laughs> Looking bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're better at camping than whatever this is. <laughs> so let's just get this over with. Right? Wow, this is freaking cool. Oh, this one has no light on. Freaking freezing. Maybe we'll. You want to go on that one? Let's go on that one. I just burnt myself. <laughs> you can't go in? No, I literally can't. All right, let me test it out before we undress completely. Wow, man, that's freaking hot. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> that is so hot. So there's a lot of hot springs, or I don't, I don't know if these are hot springs or not. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know I what's don't going on. This works. But there's a lot. There's like two main pools that they said are like 95. 90, 95 degrees or something all year round. And then there's like six or so pools like this. These are like over 100 degrees apparently. I don't know about this one because I don't think I'd be able to be in it if it was over 100 degrees. I don't know. I can't be in it. I'm no. hurting. Yeah. I don't know. And then there's like a really cold one apparently that's like 40 degrees. Down 35. There. This, none of this makes sense to me. <laughs> you know what? I don't understand the hype about hot Kinda springs. Cool. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm in pain. <laughs> Very cool place. Whether or not. How are you doing, Ash? I'm fine. <laughs> you like your your showers like boiling hot, and I don't. Yeah. So this just makes me feel like I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is pretty hot. It's a little much. <laughs> So I don't shower in super, super hot water like Ron does. So I got out of the hot springs and my legs are red. And then Ron, who thinks he can withstand like the hottest of temperatures, gets out 
walks back to the hotel room in bare feet with no towel around him <laughs> and feels like he's going to pass out. <laughs> I feel better now. He feels better now. <laughs> I took care of him, but uh, <laughs> he was in rough shape. Yeah. This isn't the first time. We've no. decided that we're done with hot tubs. Correct. <laughs> or hot springs, I should say. Yeah, so we'll see you guys in the morning. So our little front wheel drive Jetta is on a sheet of ice on a down slope and it actually slid forward last night because I had backed up so I wasn't touching the curb. So I hope we can get out of this. So the tires were actually slipping a lot and whatnot. So I actually had to get out of the car and I pushed while I actually drove. We were able just to push the Jetta out back onto the road and onto this more sheet of ice. <laughs> So right now we just left the hotel in the hot springs and we're driving down the road. We basically went to the end of Ure and we're going to continue down that road, which is the million dollar highway. Now we've been down here before, but never when there's snow. So we're going to come down here and take a few videos to show you guys what it looks like with snow. As much as we love traveling, exploring, overlanding and off-roading in the Jeep, this trip was definitely a nice change of pace. Being able to sleep in a nice warm hotel room in a beautiful town after a long, fun-filled day, instead of setting up our tent in below freezing temps, was somewhat of a treat for us. We had a lot of fun filming this vlog-style video for you, so there would definitely be more. Let us know where you'd like to see us go next. As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you out on the trail, and we'll see you next time.